All right. Welcome back to Everyday Race. Today I'm testing Blue Devil Complete Radiator Flush and Oil Degreaser. Maximum performance guaranteed. For that, I'm going to be using this nasty, nasty, nasty engine with a nasty, nasty coolant system. As you can see, it's pretty rusty. I just spent 20 minutes flushing this cooling tank. It was so nasty that a hose connected to the radiator, to the overflow tank, got stuffed up with rust. So I'm going to uh, run it for, it says up to, let's see, let's see what it says. Start the engine and run the heater on max for 20 minutes. Hmm, it's like 100 degrees outside. Alright, I'm going to have to open the window for deeper radiate, radiator cleaning. Drive your vehicle for one to two hours. So, let's see. Don't put it in your eye. Don't drink it. Don't eat it. Don't put it on your food. Got it, got it. Keep out of reach of children. Okay, I'm not going to give it to my raccoons. Alright, so I already filled this up, so I'm going to top the fluid off with regular water. I just did a, put a new thermostat in this engine because it was uh, leaking. So I hate leaks on the engine. And next, I'm going to start it up and let it idle. Let's see, it's about 6 o'clock 6 o'clock right now. I'm going to let it idle till 8. And then we'll come back and see if all this rust is gone. All right. So rusty, but it's coming out. Just letting it burn the system. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that nasty stuff. I got this thing hot, nice and hot, about 236 degrees. I had to put the cooling tank, overflow tank back in, because uh, it was spilling some coolant. And I took it for a drive in the neighborhood in first gear to get the RPMs up, to get everything circulating. And uh, now I'm waiting for it to cool off. Uh, and uh, I'm going to burp the system. And then I'm going to start it again and uh, uh, do it one more time. And then I'm going to drain the whole thing and start filling up with water to try to get rid of the stuff. Because it says do not leave that stuff in the system for longer than four hours. It's been about an hour and a half. And so we idled for a while. And then I took it for a five minute drive around the neighborhood. And... Uh, just waiting for it to cool off. It's a little bit of smoke. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's look at the radiator cap. I see some rust is actually is coming out. You can see you can see copper now. Before it was nothing but rust. Oh look at that. Hopefully the engine on the inside is starting to look more like the well. More like that, yeah. Well, two more hours. I'm gonna drain it, refill it again, and uh, I'm gonna do it till everything clean comes out, and we go from there. All right, so I'm back the next day. So last night I let the truck idle for a couple of hours, 
and then I decided to make a few rounds around the neighborhood and uh, then since the system was so bad I had to flush it probably like nine or ten times uh, drain it and then uh, fill it with water let it idle again and then drain it and then fill it with water so it, it took a whole evening to the point where it got dark so I had to wait for the next day let the truck sit because I had to let it cool off I couldn't really open the radiator cap when the truck was hot so it was quite a bit of time consuming process but let's see what the results what the result is all right all right so as you can see the radiator cap has a little bit less rust probably about 10 20 percent but it still has a lot of rust and the radiator has a lot of rust as well so fortunately this stuff couldn't undo 10 or 15 years of lack of maintenance to the cooling system on the truck and I don't think there is a, a product that could get rid of so much rust uh, there is no magic in the bottle so but I did notice uh, when the truck was idling is that the truck started running cooler by 10 20 degrees with the system before the flush it would get up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit and I would shut the truck off because it's a little bit too hot and after I flushed it like 10 or 11 times it it would only get up to 220 degrees so that there was a minor improvement and I can't really see what's going on on the inside of the radiator I can only see what's going on on the outside so if you have a minor rust issue in your cooling system this stuff might actually do the trick but if it hasn't been maintained for like 10 15 years uh, there's just this stuff isn't capable of fixing that and uh, I don't think there is a product that could fix so much rust so I'm gonna have to replace the radiator and uh, deal with it and uh, maintain my cooling system from now on so thank you for watching and have a good day